Yes, welcome back to Why in the Morning. I go by the name of Barry Moses or it's Barry Morning, every social media platform. Special thanks to Joy Muchachi for that amazing, informative interview. But right about now, we are about to talk about a topic that is associated so much with the elite and guys in suits. But the gentlemen in studio are here to demystify this and tell us more about the evolution uh, in this uh, age of information. We have our uh, Lenin and Weekly for Forex Traders. Karibu Nisana. Thank you so much. All right, so uh, the drill is always look at camera four, uh, introduce yourself. Uh, can't match any part of your credentials out. This is that time okay. to shine. Fine. Uh -huh. Okay, my name's is Lenin, uh -huh. and I'm a forex trader. Apart from that, I'm also a trainer uh -huh. and a mentor to many in this field of forex trading. Karibu sana kwenye in the morning. Uh, and then sana. And then Tuesday uh, uh, for that matter. A pleasure. Uh -huh. Thank you so much. Uh -huh. uh, my name is uh, Wycliffe Sewe. Uh -huh. I'm also a forex trader. Uh -huh. uh, my colleagues usually refer to me as a sniper because uh -huh. I'm a sniper in the market. You're a sniper <laughs> in the market. <laughs> <laughs> I'm also a trainer uh -huh. and a coach as well. All right, a trainer yes, yes, and a coach yes. as well. Thank you. All right, you're a beast when it comes to, <laughs> to speculating. <laughs> All right, anyway, uh, I'd like to take you guys back. Uh, yes. Back to when you were growing up. Yes. Uh, you used to watch business news, maybe? Yes, I do. I used to watch a lot of business news, but mm -hmm. uh, it didn't make sense to me. It didn't make sense to uh, you? At all. At all. Uh, that, is, that makes the two of us. <laughs> what about you? Even uh, just to echo the same sentiments, uh -huh. uh, in fact, uh, when it reached that part for business news, uh -huh. I just used to switch to a movie or uh -huh. something else because you never it was not my thing. got anything. It was not my thing. Uh, the it index, was thing. the gains, exactly, the losses exactly, and everything. In fact, yes. All right, but then at what point did you, maybe you can start with you, did you fall in love with this, with this particular trade? I think uh, what what really made me to, to really fall in love with this particular trade mm -hmm. is uh, reading about it is when you realize Just hold the mic steady. Uh -huh. you realize that uh, there is a, there is there is a lot of money in this field and you're mm -hmm. wondering which is this money mm -hmm. and so again in my few travels I used to travel and come back mm -hmm. Uh, with few dollars and so uh -huh. in the process of going to change a friend tells me no 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 you just go into town uh -huh. look for a bureau that is offering you more uh -huh. so i looked at it i said okay so what is it all about and i was uh -huh. wondering okay why is this trading? bureau offering yes. more than the one why less? exactly uh -huh. and so I, I got much interested and i wanted to get to understand uh -huh. what is it all about this uh -huh. business and so from there now i grew interest to really dig to get to, to know more about it all right yes so what you understood in a nutshell that currency is also a commodity it yes. can be bought and sold yes that is what I, I understood all right when did you fall in love with this okay good um uh, all i can say is that uh, first of all i was looking for uh, a skill set something that uh, mm -hmm. i can learn uh -huh. and uh, at the same time online doing it uh -huh. it brings money in my pocket uh -huh. So I was in that verge of looking for any business idea that I can uh, actually do. Mm -hmm. And uh, I landed in Forex. Uh -huh. Just uh, going through YouTube videos, mm -hmm. going through internet. All you typed was how to make money online. How to make money <laughs> online. By uh -huh. the way, I just typed how to make money online. Uh -huh. And so many things came. Uh -huh. But, but uh, this is the Forex stood thing out for you. stood out for me. Uh -huh. So I went deep to research more about Forex and actually so that this thing, once I get the correct skills, mm -hmm. then it's something that I can do. All right. Yes. Perspective. Just paint a picture for the guys. Uh, there's, we have Forex trading and we have stock trading. Yeah. Sure. All right. So uh, stock trading accounts for what amount of money in a day, maybe? Stock trading, again, it depends with uh, now the fact that uh, you're trading stocks. Uh, uh -huh. It is something that, uh, to me, I normally refer to it as a long term. Mm -hmm. So it is something that uh, it is considered a long term to an extent whereby per day mm -hmm. it might not move much. Mm -hmm. But when it comes to forex trading, mm -hmm. I'm talking about 6.1 uh, trillion US dollars. 6.1 trillion US per dollars day. per day. Per day. And, right. and to me, that really moved me. And to uh -huh. really, I wanted to be in this market. You want to be in that pool? Yes, I, that's full of the 6 billion. At least I, yes, I get my share per day. Mm -hmm. and, and to right. me, what is the difference between stock trading and forex trading? Maybe so people can get to understand. Because most of the times when we talk about these things here, we talk about the budget, supplementary budget. People, all they hear is Greek, and they need somebody to break this down for them. What is the difference in layman's language? Okay, in layman's language, all uh -huh. I can say that uh, 
when you're talking about stock market, mm -hmm. basically you're just talking about the shares. The shares. The shares. Where a company needs to be up. Exactly. And uh, issue an IPO. Exactly. And then people buy shares yes. from an existing company. Yes, yes, yes. yes. All right. So yes. Uh, there are so many companies that list where people can buy shares. Yes. yes. And then what is Forex trading now? Forex trading basically is just buying and selling of foreign currencies. Buying and selling of currencies. Uh, yes. So this is simpler than stock trading if you me given that i've engaged in forex uh, market uh -huh. it it's simpler it's simpler it's simpler this is just a case where you get your money buy currency and wait for it to hit the roof and then sell it either way you can mm. get money because, because uh, uh -huh. given with uh, okay what normally happens uh -huh. you first of all analyze the mar uh, uh -huh. analyze the market you get money either way, uh -huh. whether through selling or by not one direction. Uh -huh. Yes, depending on how the market looks. All right, so sometimes yes. buying also earns you money. Yes. Yes. Wow, there's more into this. Mm. So uh, for how, 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 uh, how are you guys so good at this? How, how did you get to know all this information? I think to get to know all this information, we had to learn the skill set. Mm -hmm. And so just like any other skill set, someone would really want to be an expert in it. Mm -hmm you need to learn about it. Mm -hmm. And so we had to enroll in an academy mm -hmm. that we were able to learn, because again, having an interest alone mm -hmm. is not enough. Mm -hmm. But now g digging deeper to have mm -hmm. the information about uh, what is it that you want to know about. Mm -hmm. And again, it's not just about any other academy. Mm -hmm. You are again looking at an institution that really has the gurus in this field. Uh -huh. And so these are the guys who are able to teach you, to tutor you, mm -hmm. and to take you through the process, and you are mm -hmm. able to learn at the end of it all now, you, 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 you hear him calling himself a sniper. A sniper. Which, which he is. So people have nicknames in this you, game. You, you hear me being called a master trader. <laughs> it is because uh, we hack this market, because uh, we right. have learned the skill set. You've learned the skills. Yes. All right, so uh, I'm really, really interested in the academy. Yes. Uh, so how does this academy work, and how can people get to sign up to this academy? Okay, good. Uh, first of all, the academy is an, uh, an online platform. Mm -hmm. And... Uh, it's easily accessible, mm -hmm. so even at the comfort of your own house, mm -hmm. you can be getting this skill set. Mm -hmm. So it doesn't mean whether you are busy or All what the hell. All you need is up. bundles or you need yes, exactly, uh -huh. internet access uh -huh. and a smartphone. And a smartphone. That's what Not all really you need. Not even a laptop. Not even Not really a laptop. Uh -huh. Yes. All you need is a smartphone. Exactly. And I think ninety percent of Kenyans have one nowadays. Perfect. Uh -huh. yeah. That's so anybody point. can do this. Yes. This is a certain point. Yes. Uh, you can enroll into the academy, learn about these things, yes. and trade. Yes. Yes. All right. So once uh, I've learned how to trade, at least I have twenty percent of the knowledge because I bet eighty percent of it is learnt is learnt in the field. Yeah. Yes. So what is the process? How do I uh, start being a trader? Now, after you have learned, uh, as, as you have already basically said now, again, you need now to open a trading account mm -hmm. with a registered and a government-recognized broker. Mm -hmm. And uh, currently, we have uh, two uh, registered uh, authorized brokers by the government, mm -hmm. regulated by CMA. Mm -hmm. So we always say, the moment now you open your account now, mm -hmm. it is from that trading account now you put in your capital. Mm -hmm. So it is from that capital now you are able now to go into the market mm -hmm. and start trading. All right. Yes. So when you you sign up to the site, yes. you have an account yes. uh, under a recognized broker, mm -hmm. invest your capital, and then you start trading. Yes. All right. So... Uh, how was your first day of trading like? Let's just... Wow! <laughs> <laughs> My first day of trading, again, it was one exciting, again, fearful, because you are uh -huh. entering into something that you're saying, yes, I have learned. Basically, it's, it's like driving. When mm -hmm. you have gone to driving school, uh -huh. now this is your first day driving, mm -hmm. and uh, here there is a trailer hooting at you. Uh -huh. You're wondering, should I stop? You have should to I? tremble. Exactly. Should I indicate? Should I? Right. And, and I remember my, my, my first uh, gains were, were, was uh, 850 shillings. Uh -huh. and, and I was so happy because I couldn't believe my phone can give me money. Uh -huh. And as uh, our teachers or our tutors used to tell us, your first money, withdraw it and enjoy it. And, and I was so happy. I couldn't... <laughs> I, I want to meet that teacher. I want to meet that teacher. <laughs> <laughs> so you're first earning, withdraw it, yes, withdraw it, enjoy it. Enjoy it. it will give you motivation. To yes, you're, you're looking at it and you are asking yourself, is it real? Is uh -huh. my phone really can give me money? And uh -huh. uh, yeah, and to me. So this is the advice you give to yes. all the people you train yes. and you mentor. Uh, we the do first that. money, enjoy Please. it, so, so that, that you can understand, understand how real this thing is. Exactly. All right. Yes. So uh, I hear it's as easy as getting it through in personalities. Yes. Uh -huh. Yes. Yes. All yes. your mobile money. 
It, okay. Uh, like, uh, just uh, to add on what my colleague has said, uh -huh. uh, we usually have uh, forex brokers. This uh -huh. uh, government recognized. Uh, institutions who are mm -hmm. giving us the platform to trade with mm -hmm. like uh, the ones who are uh, authorized by the government kenya mm -hmm. they went and took advantage of the mpes uh, platform mm -hmm. and they have integrated it into their system mm -hmm. so actually the profits that you've made from your mm -hmm. trading platform you can actually withdraw from mpes mm -hmm. and uh, you the money and this, uh, this was simple. trading across the world exactly but it's only in kenya where we've tried to incorporate it with mobile the, money exactly it's progressive yes. exactly this is a very progressive country. yes yes why yes. two five four <laughs> channel on twitter why two five four underscore channel on instagram and why two five four on facebook are you interested in trading are you interested in forex trading or you have nothing to do at home but you have some little capital this is that uh segment to watch all right so uh so after you traded the first time, you traded the first time, uh, you earned some money in the process, uh, you spent it, you knew this thing was real. Yes. What have you learned in the process of trading over time? Just a few lessons you've learned. Okay, good. A few lessons that I've learned from this field. Uh -huh. It's a field which needs uh, patience. Uh -huh. Because uh, when you look at uh, also some of the mentors that you're looking up to, mm -hmm. they, from their stories that they've been sharing, mm -hmm. it's a field also you need to have a lot of discipline. Mm -hmm. It's a field also you need to, in as much as there is a lot of money mm -hmm. inside it, uh -huh. you should not let greed guide you. Uh -huh. uh, guide you. Greed out. Greed one. out, yes. exactly. Uh -huh. Greed out, number one. So um, to me, Basically, what I'm learning uh, from this field, mm -hmm. patience. It has really taught me a lot of patience. Patience is very important. Patience. I'm paid to wait. Uh -huh. And that's the slogan which you usually use, especially when you're trading. Uh -huh. You are paid we are, to wait. We are paid to wait. <laughs> <laughs> I like. All right. So, uh, patience is a, is a virtue in this patience world. Patience is a virtue. Greed yes. is out of the building. Exactly. Yes. All right. What about you? I think one of the key things I have uh, learned over time is uh -huh. uh, you need to have uh, long-term goals when it mm -hmm. comes to forex trading. Because mm -hmm. if uh, you look at it as a get it quickly, mm -hmm. you, you, you have lost the meaning of forex trading. Because mm -hmm. again, I, I look at forex trading as something you need to plan. Mm -hmm. And uh, the key other important thing is you need to have goals. Because mm -hmm. I'll tell you, my brother, for sure, forex has money. Mm -hmm. And if you don't have goals of what you're going to do with that money, mm -hmm. at the end of it all, you will run nuts. Because uh -huh. a day comes, you, you, you hit a meet and you're like, is, is this my money? Uh -huh. And so if you don't have goals and a vision for what you're going to do mm -hmm. about it, then you, you will lost. lose it. You lose it. All right. Yes. Sometimes you win, sometimes you lose. Yes. That is, that is how life is set exactly. up. True. Okay. Is setup. it the same in this? Sometimes you win, sometimes you exactly, win. Exactly, exactly. Yeah. Just the same. I, I usually refer to the concept of uh, being in a school, right? Uh -huh. uh, there are those moments when you used to get uh, score some things wrong. Uh -huh. Didn't he, uh, did that mean that uh, you are now a Danda student or what? No, no, no. It sometimes, yes. Exactly. Even it the best one used to get 100, sometimes, exactly. sometimes 90. Exactly. Uh -huh. It means any time that you lose that, it's more of a, a checkpoint. Uh -huh. Maybe there's something that I didn't do correct, uh -huh. so you just go it's back and refer. Constant reminder exactly. that you need to be exactly, uh -huh. exactly. You need to be out there. All right. So sometimes you win, sometimes you lose. Yes. Is a mentality you should go with into yes. this business. Yes, yes, yes. yes. All right. Uh, and I'd like to take you back to 9/11. Mm -hmm. If you can remember. Mm -hmm. uh, so nobody really anticipated this, yeah. Yes. Uh, we just saw the tower coming down. True. The next day, the dollar plummeted. Yes. Really badly, yeah. Yes. All right, are, this, are these risks you're willing to take at this day and age that we live? Terrorism is, is, a, is a reality. Uh, America is a constant <laughs> target for terrorists. Uh, the dollar is the most popular yes. uh, currency that you guys use in trading. Is this a risk you guys are willing to take? I think, yes, it's, 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 it's a risk you're willing to take, but again, uh -huh. uh, it works for both ways, mm -hmm. advantage and disadvantage. Mm -hmm. Because we are looking at a situation whereby if the dollar plummets, then mm -hmm. basically the I normally say the, the, the bearish or the bullish will have it. Uh -huh. So in the business of forex trading, mm -hmm. it's both ways. You profit both ways. Uh -huh. When it goes down, you're still profiting. Uh -huh. When it goes up, you're still also in profit. Uh -huh. The only thing now, it depends now which pair are you buying it against or are you selling it uh -huh. against. So 
in in all the in, in all the scenarios you uh -huh. will find out that if the the american market the dollar is is coming down uh -huh. then maybe in the europe or in the asian market they're celebrating so again it's a gain win situation for, for it's where you put your money yes it's where you put your money uh -huh. so because like and these again, are things you understand with time yes exactly. you understand with time and then the key thing that's why i always tell people don't engage in forex trading uh -huh. if you don't have the, the knowledge about it because uh -huh. the knowledge about it will help you all right you will help you understand the various uh, dynamism from various markets uh -huh. and so like uh, we are talking about uh the the great britain pound right uh -huh. now it's it's dipping uh -huh. it's go, it's coming down uh -huh. but to some of us the more it dips the more we are gaining because we know uh -huh. how now to do to pair it with which currency for us to gain wow yes. all right the assumption is always that trading is for for the elite uh, guys in suits like uh, <laughs> you gentlemen here uh, is is it is it is, is it the truth does it have truth value this statement no actually, actually by the way uh, sometimes back uh -huh. People had that notion. Uh -huh. They thought that uh, this is a platform that has been reserved for elite. Uh -huh. Even me, I used to think like that before. Uh -huh. Only to realize later that uh, this uh, platform, if you are only coachable, uh -huh. because, because you can realize in uh, from the academy that we had talked uh, earlier, uh -huh. we have got uh, people from all walks of life. Mm -hmm. We have got guys who even never went to school, mm -hmm. or even if they went to school, uh, mm -hmm. they are school dropouts. Uh -huh. Even I personally, I uh -huh. didn't complete my college. I'm uh -huh. a college dropout. Uh -huh. But you like see, Kanye West. Uh, like Kanye West. <laughs> <laughs> are you getting it? Uh -huh. Yes. So uh, it doesn't matter. We normally say whether you are out of jail or uh -huh. you are from uh, which direction. Mm -hmm. uh, as long as you are coachable as long as you have basic mathematics exactly knowledge. exactly exactly that's all that you need as long as you can add one plus one, one you plus can trade one. exactly you can trade. anybody can trade anybody, anybody can, can trade. trade do you have any success stories of uh, people who uh, are uh, presumed or assumed to be the less elite in the society who you have trained and, and uh, trading right now as we speak yes as, as we speak right now i have uh, i have uh, three guys we have worked with and uh -huh. these guys were the the what the slogan Kenyans we use uh, called Makonkodi. Uh -huh. And so, and uh, I, uh, they are never even of my lineage or relatives, are just the guys I engaged in a match as uh -huh. I was coming to Trade House uh -huh. in town. And so I, I, I got involved with this guy, just talking to him and told him, guy, I, there is something I can share with you. Mm -hmm. And if you're interested, when you're done, you can see me at this place. And, and mm -hmm. sure enough, the guy came. Uh -huh. And in the process of him coming, I was able to share him the, 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 the idea of how to do Forex. And he was so excited about it. Mm -hmm. He enrolled in the academy. And I gave him a very, a very easy time out. Where uh -huh. I, was, I was just telling him, you do whatever you do. When there is off-peak hours, that is around 11 a.m., mm -hmm. you come over. I'll work with you. Uh -huh. And in the process, the guy, has, uh, the guy was able to do that. Mm -hmm. And two months down the line, the guy is able to earn 2000 a day. Uh -huh. And it is out of that, it's to me I celebrate it as a sexual story because right uh -huh. now he's no longer a Concordi. Uh -huh. he's, he's now a, a, a full-time forex trader uh -huh. getting more than $50 a day. And to me, th that, 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 is is a, success story. that is to me is an achievement. Before we talk about the reason you do that. Yes. All right. So uh, you have some people earning up to $50 a day and some people earning up to $100 others up to $500. What is the difference? Why is somebody adding 500 <laughs> and another one adding 50? What Ex is the difference? Experience. Of course, number one is experience, uh -huh. how long you've been in the academy. Uh -huh. And then number two is the amount of capital that you have invested. Mm -hmm. yes. yes. The amount of capital is very important. Uh, yeah, very very much you important. can't win <laughs> uh, less than what you gave it. Exactly, yes. exactly, right. exactly. Why do you do this? Because people will assume uh, uh, my secret, this is my secret to yes. reach. Yes. I don't want to share it with so many people. Yes. Because, uh, I don't know, it will affect my business. Why do you share your secret uh, that you figured and that is making you money? People don't tend to share the secret yeah. that is making uh, actually, money. Actually, one of the key things I've always uh, desired is uh, service to humanity. Service mm -hmm. to humanity basically means I'm not in this for my gain. Uh -huh. But again, there is, a, there, is, there, is, there is a need we are addressing in society, and mm -hmm. especially we as the young people, we are looking at a situation whereby almost after every maybe a year or two years to the election, mm -hmm. there are a lot of schemes that come to town. Uh -huh. And these schemes are just coming to town to swindle Kenyans uh -huh. in the name of forex trading. Uh -huh. And so we are out here to basically inform 
and enlighten people and tell uh -huh. them, hey, this Lenin who will come and pick money from you to trade for you, uh -huh. he has just learned this skill that you can also learn. Uh -huh. It's a simple skill. And so uh -huh. we are out here to impact and, and change this perception and notion because uh -huh. it is just like two months ago whereby people were demonstrating that they have been swindled by various uh, schemes in town. Uh -huh. And those schemes, the bottom line is that forex trading. It's uh -huh. not. They're not forex trading. So we are out here in as Telling much people as... that you yes, can do it yourself. You can do it yourself. Uh -huh. I'm doing it. Uh -huh. I am coming from a different uh, career uh, field, uh -huh. but I'm in forex trading uh -huh. and I'm making it. You probably even do it full time. Yes, sometimes. I, exactly. Uh -huh. Actually, right now I'm doing it full time. Uh -huh. And so I'm telling people, you can do it. Those mamas who have, especially mamas, they have a lot of money they put into these schemes. Uh -huh. And we're telling them, hey, it's a skill set. They're the you, biggest target of these they're schemes. They're the biggest target. And uh -huh. our, our main aim is let's reach out to them uh -huh. and tell them, hey, listen, if, and I normally tell them, and I don't lie, I'll give me your 100K. Uh -huh. You expect me to give you 20,000 in the, after the end of the month. Uh -huh. Me, I'll give you a week, I'll give you 200. Uh -huh. And so, now, how rich have you made me to be rich? Uh -huh. You have given me your 100,000. Uh -huh. I trade with it. Uh -huh. For a span of a week, I have already recovered your money and I'm in profit. So I've remained with three weeks uh -huh. to continue trading with your money. Uh -huh. So at the end of the day, I'll get almost around a million uh -huh. out of your hundred, uh -huh. but I'll give you 20. Uh -huh. You have made me rich. Uh -huh. So I'm, I'm saying, I do not want that money. Uh -huh. I want you also to learn that skill so that and be empowered. Be, be empowered. So yourself. that's why we are out here to tell people we mm -hmm. are just basically to educate, empower, and enrich. Educate, families. empower, and enrich. Yes. Right. All this money that is under, I'm guessing it's uh, it's not my money that exists in Kenya per se. It's money that comes from abroad as you earn it, as it yes. comes into your pocket. Yes. Yes. So this thing has the potential of growing the GDP of this country. 100%. And I always tell people, look at uh, Nigeria and South Africa. Mm -hmm. Forex trading is an industry. Uh -huh. In Kenya, we are not an industry because we have a lot of informal uh -huh. forex trading. Uh -huh. But now, because the government is coming in and now regularizing things and making sure that things are in place, then I tell you, give us two years, three years, uh -huh. it will be a big industry. Uh -huh. Because look at South Africa, uh -huh. it's, it's an industry that is affecting the GDP of that country. Uh -huh. Look at Nigeria, it's, it's an industry that is affecting the GDP of that country. Uh -huh. Because now things are now being streamlined and uh -huh. put in place. So it's the same thing that is, again, it's happening in Kenya. When you talk about informal forex trading, yes. are you talking about the forex bureaus that I see in town? No, 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 no. Uh -huh. Those ones are formal. In uh -huh. for, informal forex trading is now what I'm telling you, I pick your money, uh -huh. I start trading with it. I'm not registered to trade with your money because oh, the government okay. only allows a broker who is registered mm -hmm. to trade with your money. But so not these me as third an party traders yes. are a fraud. Are a fraud. And we should shy off them. We sh and that is, that is our message. Uh -huh. We should shy away from them. Uh -huh. They're a fraud. They're a fraud. They're a fraud. Learn to trade by yourself Learn to trade and by get yourself. on a platform okay. and yes. start trading and start making some money. Yes. Wonderful. Yes. White54 channel on Twitter, White54 underscore channel on Instagram, and White54 on Facebook is the way to interact with us. Hashtag is why in the morning. Hashtag is entrepreneurship Tuesday. And please send your questions and tell us what you think about this particular topic. So a question that is coming in is uh, what is the difference between Forex trading or trading and gambling? The, the, this person is claiming there's a very thin line between <laughs> trading yeah. and gambling. So maybe you can demystify this. Okay, maybe if I can... Um uh, okay, answer that. Uh -huh. When you are in forex trading, mm -hmm. minor skills, you uh -huh. are gambling. Uh -huh. Are okay. you getting it? <laughs> okay, 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 okay. Uh -huh. When you are in forex trading uh -huh. with appropriate skills, uh -huh. both. You are just trading. You are trading. <laughs> you are in thing, business. You are in business. Uh -huh. If it was gambling, uh -huh. then th look at the major participants in the forex market. Uh -huh. They're the financial institutions, uh -huh. right? Do you think? A whole equity bank, uh -huh. for example, uh -huh. will just gamble into this <laughs> billions. with billions of shillings? Uh -huh. no, no, never. Because at the financial institutions, you'll find out there are those p people who have been trained, uh -huh. who have got this skill set on how to participate in this market, uh -huh. who are trading the bank money. Uh -huh. So when you want to call it gambling, participate in it uh -huh. with other skill set. Uh -huh. If that you, it will be gambling for sure, for, for sure. You guarantee exactly, uh, guarantee. exactly. So, but when you have a skill set, skill set, yes, it is trading. It's just business. Yes. It's business. All right. Yes.
You seem like you have something to add on this. <laughs> I'll, I'll give you a good example. <laughs> uh, we have uh, the, so gen amazing. We have the genuine doctors uh -huh. and we have the quack doctors. Uh -huh. So will you, when, when you go to uh, the quack doctor, uh -huh. basically you are gambling with your life. Uh -huh. And when you go to the real doctor, uh -huh. you, are, you are really treasuring your life. Uh -huh. So in every given industry, uh -huh. we will have uh, the, the thin line between gambling uh -huh. with the, that industry uh -huh. and maybe two sides of the coin. Two sides of the coin. Uh -huh. So it is you, at the end of the day, it's your choice. Uh -huh. uh, like he has said, you need a skill set for you to really be part of it. And I always tell people, every skill set is a science. Uh -huh. And I have never seen a place whereby I learn to gamble. Uh -huh. No. You can, you can never learn to gamble. You can never learn to gamble. Always by chance. Yeah, exactly by uh -huh. chance. But uh -huh. but forex trading, you will learn. Uh -huh. Yes. Wow, you had it straight from the hospital. <laughs> Keep the questions coming. I'm enjoying the questions. <laughs> All right. So, uh, what is what is the future for you guys in terms of this trading thing and uh, the the fact that you want to bring other people's from other people from the informal sector, the formal sector, to join you uh, in this trading thing? Uh, what what is, what is the vision? for you. Maybe we can start with you. Okay, good. Um, the vision that uh, I'm looking forward uh, to have, given that uh, just uh, when my colleague had mentioned that uh, when you look at uh, the Kenyan setup, the setup that currently we have, uh -huh. uh, more or less this market has been dominated by the informal type of trading. Uh -huh. But for us, we are looking forward, uh -huh. actually, if we can be having like a more or less uh, forex trading school. Uh -huh. In fact, that's some of the things that we have been discussing when we are dealing with this forex. At least we can help mm -hmm. us as the pioneers, as the pioneers, uh -huh. so that at least we can help us many individuals uh -huh. who would like to participate in this industry, yet they don't know where they can get the appropriate skills from. Uh -huh. Are you getting it? Uh -huh. Yes. So, so that's actually what we are looking for, because you'll find, just as I mentioned, the financial institutions are bigger players in this field, but they are not willing to disseminate that information mm -hmm. because that's their own way of making money. Uh -huh. Are you getting it? Uh -huh. Yet in as much as there are so many people outside here uh -huh. who like to participate in this market uh -huh. and they don't know how. How to participate. Exactly. And this exactly. is something you can do from home. This is something you exactly. can do while, after exactly. you're done with exactly. your 9 to 5. Exactly. And this is something that can contribute to the GDP. Yes. In a very heavy way. Mm -hmm. Yes. Wow. What is your vision? I think my vision again is uh, to, when all is said and done, is uh, to be part and part of the pioneers who have really helped the forex industry to grow. Because uh -huh. that is my cry. And I'm looking at it and I'm telling people, this is an industry that we want to be counted. Uh -huh. The second uh, thing I'm looking forward to is, I don't want after every other five years, we have people demonstrating they have lost money in their schemes. Mm -hmm. So one of the key thing is to go out, to reach as to many people as possible, to mm -hmm. enlighten them mm -hmm. that uh, they need not to be part of these schemes. Mm -hmm. And again, a key thing in my vision is for Kenyans to go back to the process. Mm -hmm. We are guys who love results fast. Mm -hmm. <laughs> we don't appreciate the process. <laughs> I would want to be a graduate without going to class. Mm -hmm. I would want to be a, a rich person without going through mm -hmm. the process. You'd so like to go to parliament exactly. without campaigning so and winning elections. Exactly. And mm -hmm. so those are some of the things we are looking at and we are telling people, hey, it is time we adapt the process. And, and to me, this is, again is a call to the young people. Mm -hmm. let's, 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 let's go through the process. Mm -hmm. It might be painful, mm -hmm. it might be hard, mm -hmm. Sweaty. but it pays. It pays. It pays. In the long run. In the long so. run, it pays and it pays good. All right. Uh, I'm guessing you have a Facebook page, a Facebook page? Yes. Uh, Instagram, Instagram? Yes. Uh, Snapchat, Snapchat, maybe <laughs> not. <laughs> but I'm guessing you share a lot of information about trading and business on yes. your social media handles. Yes, we do. So maybe you can share your social media handles mm -hmm. and tell them how they can get to interact with you in case they need this training. I think uh, if, uh, with my social media is uh, at, at Facebook Just is... Just look them straight into the eyes, so uh, they believe. Facebook uh -huh. is uh, Lenin uh -huh. Iyumagomia. Ish. Yes, Lenin <laughs> Iyumagomia, you'll get me on Facebook and uh -huh. I will be able to interact with you uh -huh. uh, that much. That much, all right. Okay, good. Um, I'm just Wycliffe Sewe, uh -huh. Instagram Wycliffe Sewe, uh -huh. Twitter Wycliffe Sewe. Thank you very much. Yes. How can they get to interact with you in case they need training and in case they can't access these sites that we've talked about? Yeah. Okay, yeah, we, can give, we, can, we can share our mobile numbers. Yeah, sure yes. thing. Okay. Your camera is number four. Mine is 0720-76-5897. Mm -hmm. All right, what about you? 0711-873-5897. Uh -huh. uh -huh. 
870. Right. So you can just be calling you the business hours. Uh-huh. Yes. <laughs> yeah. You are a family man. Yeah. I'm a family man. <laughs> thank you very much for coming. Thank and thank you very much for sharing this information. Thank you, thank you so much. Because we have a lot of people who complain that they don't have jobs. People want to get jobs here. Yes. But we can only employ uh, a just number. A few. You know, just a few. Yes. So thank you very much for what you're doing. Thank and uh, keep going. Thank you, thank you very All much. Right. Thank you for hosting us again. Uh, you're welcome. Uh, we have come to the end of this, and the topic of conversation was forex trading. And if you'd like to get more information, find Weekly Server or LinkedIn on social media so you can get more information. I'm personally getting into this, uh, so we we are not done yet. We'll be back with some more wine in the morning. Don't go nowhere. Don't type that out.